Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about the loot run I do that helps fund me through the early and mid wipe of the game. For this run, we're starting on the House on the Hill spawn for a PMC, which is great because the House on the Hill has one of those giant green containers that can contain any number of great loot items from a Red Rebel, weapons, I found an SR25 in one once. It's just a good overall loot. This time around, it's kind of mediocre, but if you think about it, a Thor armor vest early wipe is actually pretty decent. For this run, I was actually focusing more on Spa Tour Part 1, which is why I'm using a suppressed Saiga 12, because that allows me to just throw down large amounts of slugs aiming for the head and getting the headshots I need for the quest. A lot of people avoid the right side of the shoreline map. This is the normal route that I want to take if I spawn on this side. You can see that I try to hit every stash and maximize my profitability. So right here is one stash that never seems to get hit right under the electric tower. Ideally, you would hit every stash along the side, get down to the coast, and then just go all the way to the tunnel. For me though, since I'm focusing on spa tour quest, I decided to come up to the weather station to see if there's any scabs. I'm approaching very quietly and slowly because I don't know if there's other PMCs in the area, and I don't know if the goon squad is around. Since I've made it this far, I'm going to assume the goon squad is not around because bird eye would have killed me already. Normally for the loot run, I actually want to avoid the weather station as it is kind of a hot area. There is a safe here, there are filing cabinets, so it is a good opportunity to get USB sticks, gas analyzers, a GPU if you're really lucky, or other just high value items because of that safe. Safes are some of my favorite spots to hit just because of the high value loot item and how easy they are to fit into my secured pouch. From here, we go to the bridge with the tank on it to check this stash. This is one that gets hit all the time, so your luck will vary on whether or not there's good loot here. I was able to get a bottle of vodka, some caps, battery, light. Uh, the vodka itself is worth about 15,000 rubles, so pretty worth. From there, we go to the power station. There's two toolboxes, there's a few duffel bags. For my purposes this run, I was looking for sniper scav. Once Sniper Scav was taken care of, I moved up to the bus station to check on the dead scav body. So my route got a little bit altered here because I'm not using this as a loot run, I'm using it as a quest run. I'm still trying to maximize the amount of stashes that I'm hitting in that time frame though. So the bus stop has the dead scav body, it's also got the stash that's right up here next to it. Since I'm going for scav kills, there's only one area left that I can check on this side of the map that's along my route to the exit, and sadly there were no scavs there. So I just have to maximize the other stashes that I'm looking for. This stash up near campsite, usually never hit. Your mileage may vary depending on the time of day that you play. From here, I actually work my way down into the mayor's house. I was surprised that this house wasn't hit. If that door is closed, it means that there's either someone in it or it hasn't been hit yet. This house has duffel bag, it has fuel spawns, and it has a toolbox. All great areas where you can make some money.
Even though my goal for this run was not loot, I ended up coming out with about 250,000 rubles worth. This was the route that I ended up taking. Now, if I was trying to maximize loot, I would have turned south and hit all those stashes in the village. I plan on putting out a video for low effort loot runs on each map to help all the casual players that are probably going to come into the game at the start of the new wipe. Hit the subscribe button to get notifications of when I put those videos out, and comment down below on what maps you want to see me prioritize. Also keep an eye out for when the wipe happens, and I'm going to be starting my new challenge for that wipe. Thanks guys, take care.